So my name is Roger Walker, I'm Head of the Education Projects Unit in the ESA Education Office. I'm responsible for the CubeSat payload that will be launched on the Vega qualification flight and currently we're preparing the uh, CubeSats for flight uh, ready to be shipped to the launch site in Karoo shortly. CubeSat is uh, a small satellite, typically of uh, one to three kilograms. Only a size, so let's say, 10 centimeters or 30 centimeters in size. And it's uh, a satellite which is, uh, or has been derived for um, educational purposes. So it's been developed as a, a standard by universities. Many universities around the world have been developing now CubeSats since a few years, launching them into space and the whole purpose is to give hands-on experience to students at university level so they can be well prepared for their careers in the space industry afterwards. We are offering the flight opportunity to uh, up to nine CubeSats for, uh, free of charge on the Vega qualification flight and by doing that um, the intention was to stimulate the hands-on experience of students all the way across Europe and in fact we've had over 250 students from six different countries involved in the development of these small satellites and of course qualifying them to the requirements of, of ESA. Yeah. Well we announced the call for proposals, the, the uh, announcement of opportunity in 2008. Uh, we selected uh, nine CubeSats then plus two backups for this flight opportunity so really it's been a four year development process for the CubeSat teams. We've got at least uh, six satellites coming from different countries in Europe, so for example Spain, Italy, France, and also uh, Eastern Europe, so Romania, we've got uh, Poland, Hungary, so it's a really wide cross-section and in many cases these CubeSat projects are the first satellite projects, uh, at least for the universities, if not uh, also in the countries concerned. I'm uh, Marius Trusculescu. I'm uh, from Romania, from the Romanian Goliath team. We, we built uh, a CubeSat at uh, two universities in Bucharest, University of Bucharest and University Polytechnica of Bucharest, with some help from, uh, with help from the Romanian Space Agency, the Romanian Institute for Space Sciences and the private uh, companies in the aerospace domain in Romania. Well, we have uh, three experiments on board our CubeSat. We have, uh, first of all, uh, a camera, a digital camera for uh, taking pictures. Uh, it's a narrow angle camera with uh, a trim up to three megapixel sensor. We have um, a radiation detector on board. And also we have a micrometeoroid detector, which uh, would, will measure the um, uh, small dust particles uh, on low Earth orbit. It's the first uh, CubeSat in Romania. Actually, it's the first uh, uh, whole satellite we, we built in Romania. We had uh, Romanian uh, agencies had some instruments flown on the International Space Station or on Russian flights, but uh, not a single uh, satellite, an independent satellite up to now. I'm Guido Ridolfi and uh, I'm from Politecnico di Torino. Uh, I came here with a colleague of mine to hand in and to uh, do the last check on ESTAR. It's the CubeSat that we developed at Politecnico di Torino. Uh, we are testing uh, um, non-space qualified hardware on orbit and we are testing a attitude control and dynamics uh, attitude control determination system that we developed in-house. It is an active control system and it was never used before and so we're pretty proud about it. We are from the aerospace department so we were all you know pretty passionate about space in general and so we were looking for a mission in which students could take part and myself took part in the project itself. We involved more than 30 students and a CubeSat could give us the opportunity to do that and so we decided to go forward with it. Uh, our department, uh, previous uh, CubeSat, a previous uh, small satellite, it was not actually in a CubeSat scale, 
was developed. And so based on that, we decided to go forward in a new project. And this is our second project at Polytechnic Vitorino. Uh, my name is Gabriel. Uh, I come from Vigo in Spain. Uh, I come with uh, Sharkovia satellite. Yeah, we have a radiation dose sensor uh, to used to measure the radiation in orbit. We have a new experimental reconfigurable uh, software radio. And we have a deployment mechanism uh, for CubeSats uh, that has never been tested uh, in flight and we want to test it uh, with uh, three new solar panels uh, for a 1U CubeSat. It's the first time for all of us. We're a great uh, team. We are about 20 engineers, but uh, we were only uh, two or three engineers at the beginning, and the other ones were uh, students. And together we have developed these uh, maybe 10, 12 new engineers uh, with this project. So the main objective of this satellite was uh, educational. Uh, so three or four engineers and professors from the university could uh, teach uh, so many students to how to do a satellite, how, how to make documentation for big projects, how to learn to uh, go uh, outside with the satellite, congresses, uh, papers, everything. So that was great as a, a project for a university. So this is the, the Peapod and it's currently holding three 1U CubeSat mass models similar to the first two Peapods that are on Vega. Uh, the Peapod works by the launch vehicle sending it a, an electrical signal to the Peapod's release device. It releases the bolt, then there are two torsion springs on the door that flip the door open and then the main spring pushes the three CubeSats out all at once. It's a space rated jack-in-the-box. This is the simplest analogy. Well, the CubeSat standard was originally uh, come up with by Professor Dr. Jor Jordi Puchuari at Cal Poly, as well as Bob Twiggs at Stanford. And they originally designed the CubeSat standards to the CubeSat standard for universities to get easy access to space. Basically, they would be um, kind of like Sputnik type satellites for universities. But in the last 12 years, they've become the technology from cell phones and laptops has been shrinking, which has been allowing the CubeSats to do, to do more interesting things, but still keep it in the time frame, you know, about two years to development to launch, so that a student can, uh, either an undergrad or graduate student, can build, can design, build, and fly a satellite all within one academic lifetime. Uh, within the small confines of a CubeSat, now that uh, electronics um, are miniaturized so, so heavily, it's possible, possible to have small sensors uh, for radiation sensing or things like uh, small components, how they're exposed to the space environment and how they would be affected by the space environment. Really a, a wide cross-section. Also things like um, deployable solar panels, small mechanisms to be able to eject uh, devices that would uh, increase the cross-sectional area of the satellite and cause it to be more affected by atmospheric drag, to reduce the orbital lifetime and so on. These are very innovative things that are being developed by the bright minds of tomorrow.